Hello there. This is Linux Doom Gamer. This is a demo of the newest addition to the integrated stack couplers. In this specific case, it is the radial core speed controller. Normally, you have your radial decouplers here, so either core speed is enabled or is disabled. Okay, and when it's enabled, fuel and other stuff can flow in both directions. When it's disabled, fuel cannot flow in either direction. I felt that there was a need have the ability to have fuel flow in one direction only, outside of it. That is what this is showing now. So, this automatically gets attached to any radial decoupler there is. And to use it, simply click on the cross speed disabled. And the first setting is now bi-directional cross speed. And this is similar, essentially the same thing as the normal cross speed settings. Click it again, you get unidirectional core speed, and if this means that the fuel will only flow inward. Symmetry is taken care of as well. So let's go ahead and see how it works. Alright, here we are on the launch pad, and what I'll do is show you the fuel tanks. During the firing, I am not going to actually launch it. They're going to be firing here on the pad. And notice here, I didn't put a lot of fuel in here because this is just a demo. So what's going to happen, since it's unidirectional, is that all three engines are going to fire. The main tanks will stay full until the outer tanks are empty because the outer tanks are feeding the inner tanks. And when the outer tanks get empty, the outer engines will stop. Three, two, one. And as you see, the other tanks got empty, the engine stopped, and the tanks continue running. Just to show you the other two behaviors. Cross speed disabled, which is the normal way. Do the same thing. So what's going to happen this time is that both, all engines are going to fire, but you will notice that fuel will be pulled from both of them because the center direction is only pulling from the main tank. Three, two, one, fire. <laughs> show you the normal bi-directional mode. So what will happen now is all engines will continue firing. Initially, the outer tanks will drain fuel, the inner tank will stay full, when the outer tank goes empty, then all fuel will come from the inner tank. Three, two, one, fire. And this will be available in the mod integrated stacked tank decouplers, uh, which uh, once I finish uh, making a few configuration changes and I may even be considering renaming it since this is now doing more than the integrated stack tanks. Thank you, have a great day and fly safe.